Hi, my name is Denny Kalal and I'm a researcher focusing on visual object tracking. This red dot is the result of my PhD thesis, where I investigated how to track an unknown object in a video sequence and how to improve the tracking performance during tracking. Um, we have developed an algorithm which we call Predator. As any other tracker, Predator estimates the object location and scale changes, but in addition, it learns how the object looks and what is not an object. And using this information, it scans every frame searching for the object. If the object disappears and later comes back, we are able to detect it. This combination of tracking, learning and detection is unique and therefore opens completely new possibilities for a number of industrial applications. First of them is in human computer interfaces. Consider you want to make an interface where the user catches and drags something, such as a mouse. Uh, so using our system it's possible to select uh, the object which you want to track by a bounding box and that's it. Now the system is learning how the gesture looks like in different scales, how it uh, looks in different rotations and so on. And after a while we have pretty reliable system which is acting as a virtual mouse. The nice property is that over time it's getting better and better. So the user has the flexibility to create his own gesture. Another example is in uh, face recognition. If I select my face, for example, and start tracking, immediately after that, the system can localize me, recognize me when I come back, and uh, so we are talking about some games where, where this can be used, or maybe very simple security systems where the face can be recognized among other faces. The same functionality can be used to improve visual search. In uh, Google, Google's application, the images are queried by a single image. However, if you have a tracker like this one, the user can send a query of number of images and improve the search performance. So these are just a couple of ideas on what the Predator can do. And if you are still interested, please watch the videos at the end or go to my website where I explain a little bit more about it. Thank you very much and see you later.